This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Baltimore well, back here with another episode of Deathmark. In the last episode, things went dour as, uh, despite us being Hanahiko, Moe was uh, sacrificed to the grudge of the, of the spirit. Uh, and we were left to wonder what could have been, uh, even though our mark was still there and we were waiting for the next day. But lo, in another reality, another time, another space, we make a different decision and think about our, uh, think about our choices to perhaps make them survive. Uh, basically, last time I just reloaded an old spot, chose Sukasa instead of uh, uh, Mashida, even though that part doesn't really matter as far as I know. And I've noticed the dialogue is slightly different from Sukasa's. Like, a lot of the same beats still happen, but when you have a different partner, they basically react. Their dialogue is different from, like, Mashida's and Sukasa's are different dialogues, so. But I think that's most more of a personal preference at that point, but. But since we don't have Mashita, we could choose either... I think we could either choose Moe or, Moe or Sukasa. So in this case, I'm just going to choose Sukasa just to kind of change it up a bit. I mean, basically, we just have to do the same thing, except for one thing. Uh, let's see. Grab them. Okay. Sukasa makes a big sense. Yeah, that... Like, stuff like that's the same. Like, when you're talking, usually you'll do the same description as... Uh, as uh, any any follower, at least from what I've noticed. So in the future, I'm just gonna choose people I just like uh, to have in the group or I find interesting or whatever. Uh, after that, I guess I technically didn't need to. Okay, see, so yeah, same same dialogue for Zukasa there. Zukasa Mikasa. Okay, then we just have to do the same combo thing. Luckily, the like I said, the game lets me just. Um, oops. Oh, I can let me reset. If that. Do that three times. So he gets close, or she, or whatever. Whatever's cool there. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys this creepy stuff all over again. Did you? Did you want to see it? Weren't you happy for it? Um, I feel like they put way too much into like what this is, even though it's only. I assume you only do it so many times in the game, but yeah. I mean, it was a little bit of effort that they didn't need to do, and I kind of appreciate that when you think about it. So. Oops. Oh. Ugh, that's just so creepy. Um, oh, by the way, off screen, I already, I already, I checked to see like what happens if Sukasa uh, is with you, and you purposely fail or. Okay, you technically win no matter what you do. Uh, at least, well, I mean, you could lose if you don't make the right decisions. Obviously, take too much damage or get killed instantly or whatever. But if, it, it, like, it, when I had Moe here and I did the flare thing, uh, well, let me show you what. First of all, to beat the, uh, I noticed to beat this encounter the best way, you need to do salt water and the lipstick instead. But when you choose the flare one, it just kills them because you know. Mary said we need to we need to like uh, clear their grudge. And if you do the flare, you just tr straight up just try to like just, just destroy them, you know, which is what you're not supposed to do. So obviously, in the last episode, we found out the grudge was so powerful that before the spear was uh, completely destroyed or whatever, it took out the person who did it and it kind of just ended both of them. Uh, when Sukasa dies, it's basically the same thing except it makes a note that his tie is still there, like a strain. It, it, it's it's in blood, but he still dies. And Moe mentions about where where is Sukasa, and she, you know, gets the same freaky look when she finds out that he died too. So I didn't feel it was necessary to show that version of the scene because it's it's kind of just it's very similar from what I've noticed anyway. So I'm just gonna do the the best way to finish this scenario. So yeah, let's. Okay, so we do the salt water thing to weaken weaken uh, uh, weaken the weaken the spirit. Hanahiko's uh, spirit. And it talks about, uh, yep, tease me, start sniffling. Weekend talks about the spirit. And we use the lipstick. I put the lipstick on Hanahiko's lips. Uh, what did you do? Hanahiko's weekend. All right, now that he's weekend, I think the last thing I'm supposed to do is we're supposed to use stuff that like. Uh, that ties to the spirit. So the ones we know are the lipstick and the mirror, because you know how they said the 
and the info about how he uh, how he always looked cute. So you put the lipstick on and then show it. Um, I don't think I actually need to do anything for the the last part. So I don't know, it's just shoes, girl slippers, whatever. Adderdag points at the, the round hand mirror at Hanahiko. I turn the hand mirror towards him to make him look at the lipstick. He stares at his reflection. This is red stuff. Or, is that supposed to be Tsukasa or is that supposed to be Hanahiko talking? I guess it's Hanahiko because it's supposed to be like that, so. This is red stuff. I've been looking for this for so long. My keepsake from my mom. Are these memories from when he was alive? He smiles with his red lips. <laughs> Am I pretty? Oh, so witty. Oh, pretty and witty <laughs> and gay. The spirit melts into the darkness with a smile on his face. I don't sense honey can go anymore. Dot, dot, dot. We won, didn't we? Yeah. Kind of hard to believe, but looks like we did. Mr. Luck. Uh, <clears throat> keep doing the wrong. Mr. Luck. Ma disappeared. Keep switching between my different accents. So Costa excitedly flashes his left hand at me. It's true, the mark is gone. What about ears? Oh, yeah, my right hand. It's still there. My mark looks exactly the same as before. Why? Why is it going away? Sorry, mister. Sorry, right, mister. It's almost dawned. Am I going to die? Oh, yeah. We can. A lot of this stuff is kind of similar. And Moe's here because I, he obviously didn't bring Mach Machika or whatever. So I assume that the dialogue is slightly different with her there because uh, she also screeches out like when, when you find the dead body or vice versa. So, um... Oh, I found you. I started feeling better all of a sudden, and my, then my mark was gone. So you beat him, right? Yeah. Was Maul was avenged. Oh, dot dot dot. Let's head back to the mansion. Mary might know just the thing to do. Yeah, we're all. Let's go, Mister. Sakasa leads me away. Huh? Or huh? Sakasa is feeling his pants pocket. I don't have my house key. I'll drop it somewhere earlier. His glance, he glances back, his glance back at the school is troubled. But there's no time for that now. Er, but there's no time for that now. After all, you could die. Go on. Huh? Just make sure you're back in five minutes. Go, get moving. Uh, okay. Er, yeah, I see. All right, on set. Yeah, I think that's like... I think this game does have some minor issues in terms of, like, certain things like that. But overall, it's a lot better than the previous game I played. Sakasa uh, runs back into the school. Yeah, he runs for his house keys, unlike Moe, who, who lost her wallet or whatever. Jeez. You do know we're in a big hurry. Sakasa shrinks into the distance and they disappear inside the building. A bitingly cold wind whips past me. It's coming from the school. That's not normal, especially for the start of summer. The wind dies down, and out of nowhere, I get a really bad feeling. Should I have let Tsukasa go back inside? Five minutes pass. Tsukasa isn't back yet. What's Tsukasa doing there? You better check. I step inside and go down the right hallway. I make it all the way in front of the room where we fought Hanahiko, but... I don't see Tsukasa anywhere. Strange, it should be the place. Mister? Oh, hey. Yeah, unlike, unlike where we... Hanahiko saved. Yeah, apparently, uh, at least according to the trophies, apparently each chapter has a... Has a destruction grudge or or saved or saved trophy so obviously since there's two different trophies i'm going to show in the future i'm going to purposely show the the 
the destroyed the destroyed ending and then the uh then the saved ending so you'll get to see both so and it doesn't take that long if you know where to save um, or like i said when i failed the first time with machiko it took me back to right before we fought her which i could have gone back to the mansion and gotten Sukasa in that case if i really wanted to use him and all that so so yeah it's not really that long to do that so unlike other games where it take forever but because you can save after a point in the game you can always save it mostly most points so i'll say i'm all that they blew my safety whistle safety whistle oh yeah i guess kids would have safety whistle what are you doing here you're late so i came looking for you and all there's all about that it's dark so it took a long time well, you let me uh, let me the flashlight. Well, you just ran off, dude. Then we wouldn't have had this problem. He seems sorry enough, but man, he's as impudent as ever. I'm so relieved. A huge weight lifts off my shoulders when I see he's okay. Yeah, when you see his dead body, it just says that all that's left is his tie or whatever. Come on, come on, let's go. We all climb into the car and head straight to Cujo Mansion. Job well done. We did the right thing. Yeah, if you read all the notes, it pretty much is obvious that you don't want to... Because the flare is the more aggressive way to kill kill the ghost, so obviously the use the lipstick and hand mirror to say he's so pretty and witty, and uh, that's how you save the day. So, but I mean, I pretty much knew that from the beginning, but I wanted to see what would happen if you purposely... Uh, failed or killed. And I just, you know... Because sometimes I'm interested in, like, the dark endings or bad endings to games... I was wondering if the game would end or if it continue, which apparently it continues, even if you do the normal ending. So maybe I'm wondering if there's like a a normal, if there's a different, a normal or bad ending or whatever you want to call it, because you still went by. So I don't know if I call it the worst ending because one of the two sur people survive, no matter what happens. But I wonder if there's an ending where if you do all the bad or normal decisions or whatever, and then there's a different ending based off that or not. So man, we'll find out. I guess it depends on how many chapters there are, which um, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, you're safe. My box vanished like it never was, so things must have gone well, huh? Glad to see you found Moe, too. You're frowning. What's wrong? Well, Miss Mark hasn't gone away. What did you say? Hey, what's going on? Uh, mister? We'll tell Mr. Mashida about everything. Let's go see Mary. I keep just making, I can't wait till this is over so I can get the right accent. Welcome back, Court Etterdad. It appears that you overcame your fear and cleared away the grudge. Congratulations are in order. Yeah, since we didn't have someone die this this time. Your tone is the same as always, but for some reason it grates on me. What's so great about it? Why hasn't my mark vanished? It is likely the one who gave it was not Father Hiko. Yeah, we get because if we fail, obviously she explains about how the failure, but it seems to go by a lot faster when we do the right things. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's uh, we can skip that because I've, I've, uh, we've done that before. Let's see, because we already seen that. Uh, what should we mark? Yep, we've done that. Um, I thought distorted. I don't think it changes if you. Uh, now it becomes brighter. Yeah, I don't think it's different. This part's the same, except for I think if we at the end of chapter one and beginning of chapter two, I think it's slightly different if one of the party member died, party members died, or marks died, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we know that. I think we're just. In, I think she's gonna explain the whole spirit thing again. Yeah, so we can skip that. I think it's roughly. Yeah, we're in the repeat dialogue. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have like a scene dialogue skip. You just skip it as is. Okay. Thank you so much. Seriously, if you hadn't been there, I probably would have been killed by Hanahiko. In another reality, maybe. But when I think about you still having your mark, it's hard to be happy. Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. Did great work today. I 
are much more competent than all the other adults in it. It only makes sense for adults to sell children. It'll be challenging from now on. My school will suffer due to my memory loss. I need to study hard to catch up. You'll do your best too. Well, I'm not. I think I'm heading off to myself. Without to mess up trouble taken care of, I'm sure I'll, cr I'll crash right away. Oh, and then he repeats the... Pulls the paper, we can read about that. Oh, here we go. Before, uh, something about the article. Before he was adopted, he'd lived with his mother. She understood her son unlike his hard-headed adoptive father. She'd make him, uh, she'd put makeup on him in front of a mirror. She was very much doted on him. I don't think we get this dialogue before, because obviously we didn't get the best inning. I think we gives you the notes, technically saying, hey, this is what you should have done to save the spirit, that type of thing. So it's like, oh, if you play next time, do the, or reload an old save, you know. After all that, hell at a young age, then dying, that was probably his only good memory. Why should his smile is sad? Well, it's up to you how you interpret it. Do whatever you want. See ya. See ya. Uh, let's see, that's about. They have to leave. Alright, science. So we don't left. Uh, not at all. Uh, by the way, you can tell some of these choices really don't matter. I certainly hope so. Mary stares unblinkingly at me. She'll just be extrapolating, but it seems like she's thinking about something. Uh, okay, I think we're, we're ready. Okay, and then we can just save the game. I think that part doesn't change. <gasps> oh yeah, we can talk to her to have do that. Uh, don't have partners anymore. I think uh, no, that's new. I don't think the dialogue changes at all. That didn't change, because that information is the same. Uh, I guess... I guess I'm good, so we can go ahead and start start chapter two, then. With uh, with our their heads held high that we saved everyone. Are you, re are you retiring to bed? Rest. Good night. And thus ends chapter one, Hanahiko. The end. Trophy earned. Yay. But I'll admit, like, at, like just starting from, you know, I was considering because I found out this was a visual novel, I almost considered just doing, like, maybe the first chapter or whatever and stop playing because I didn't want to do, like, another long-ass, like, visual novel like This World Ends. But uh, this this uh, story is a lot more interesting to me than, than This World Has Ended by far. And that was supposed to be, like, the lighthearted comedy with some dramatic bits. This is, like, more, you know, very little comedy you know, horror, you know, thriller type of aspect with spirits. And I'm a lot more invested in this story than I am in the other one by far. So I am definitely going to continue on with this game till the till the end. So just because it's, I'm just more entertained, you know, by this. But anyway, another night greets me. It's been three days since the investigation. And not one glimmer of hope for me. Time idles by as, a, as death draws ever closer to claim me. The mark that brings death. The only way to escape is defeat the spirit that gave it to me. But we have amnesia, so we don't know who gave it to us. But I have no clue where that spirit is right now. He could be off in Malibu, for all we know. Maybe things would be different if that specialist Sayakuja was alive. Yeah, it's convenient that she isn't. Hmm. A knock breaks my train of thought. Oh, Mashida. How long are you planning on sleeping? You're pretty relaxed for a guy who could die soon. The ex-detective, Satori Mash Mashida. The other mark bearers left the mansion, but he stayed behind. Mary was the cause. I guess she asked him to help as he was leaving. She went against Sai uh, Kujo's wishes by doing that, but it seems it was for my sake. But I don't know about Mashida. Even if he was asked to stay, he has no reason to agree. What's that look? Not happy I stayed behind? <laughs> I'd prefer Mo <laughs> I prefer Sukasa, I'm grateful. I prefer Moe. So you wanted to be alone in this giant mansion with a miner? Ooh. You got me there, buddy. Uh yeah, she is a miner, and she Ooh. Ah, 
The bird, ouch! The bird! That sounds pretty shady. He's got a mad mouth as usual. His true intentions aside, I have to say I'm honestly grateful for his help. My amnesia could hit without warning, so I can't go with I can't go out whatever I want. Or I can't go out wherever I want whenever I want. That's it. Okay. He's been going around gathering information in my place. I saw some people from the force. Still no ruckus so uh, still no ruckus over H elementary. But we just found out this like one guy was a super pedophile and did who knows what to that poor kid before he before he died. And no, I mean, I guess the spirit's fine, but I don't know. It feels like someone got away with something they shouldn't have. But anyway, but wait a second. That guard went missing. His company should be notified. That company is exactly the issue. It's run by the Yak by Yakuza thugs who have their eyes on the labor department. <laughs> hey, Yakuza, get your hands out of my de death mark game. Oh man, I wish I I try. I actually tried recording a Yakuza game like a long time ago for for my Gamefly rental stuff, and I did Dead Souls, I think it was, but at the time, Sega was, like, being a super dick about anything recording, so, like, when I uploaded the video, it basically, it, like, got struck. It wasn't like a, oh, we're taking your earnings or whatever type of thing, which I would have been fine with, because I don't, you know, I don't do this for for the money, obviously, but the fact that it was a, a, cha a mark, which meant it hurt the channel. So, you know, that whole three times as out type thing. I was like, oh, what's this crap? Fine. I'll just, I just, because I tried uploading it multiple times. I was like, never mind. I'm just not going to mess with any Sega stuff. Apparently, Sega has now toned it down a bit, like in terms of just straight up striking your channel. Like, I could probably do a Yakuza recording if I wanted to now, but, yeah. Not, uh, don't, uh, I mean, I want to, but not right now, anyway. Anyway, they don't want the police involved. Plus, in a shitty company like that, people will up and walk out all the time. Yamashita, that was his name. Everyone thinks he's up and split. I hear that's why they're having a hard time finding a replacement. Well, they won't have to worry now. The ghost is gone. So. If you didn't know the school was haunted, it'd just be another abandoned building. The government wouldn't need to rush to find a new guard. That man lived alone, so a missing persons report won't be filed soon. The school most likely won't come under suspicion until then. That's it for my report. You covered a lot of ground in a short time. Exotectors sure are handy. Did you bring up the mark or spirits when you were asking around? Do you think I'm an idiot? They'd be calling the loony bin. Well, it's a call if it's based if it's similar to Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, that all heroes in those games usually end up in the loony bin. Even if the kids or I did bring them up, who would honestly believe us? Why waste my breath? Exasperated, he shrugs. Searching the mansion was on you, so did you find anything? I came up blank as well. Though I've only gone through half so far, and some of the rooms were locked. Stuck without a warrant. Like you'd wait for something like that. I swallow the words before they come out. Oh yeah, Mary's asking for you. You should get going. Eh, yeah, probably a good idea. Mary, Mary, are you so oh, yeah, you're a doll you can't really hear you. I have been waiting for you. Mary is sitting primly, uh, pr primly on the couch, the same as always. It appears you are having a difficult time with your investigation. I do wish I could be of more use to you. I know you can sense mark bears. Can you sense spirits too? Dot, dot, dot. If they were to come into the grounds, I believe I could, yes. That doesn't sound particularly useful. I just throw her out in the trash. We just see like a doll's like legs sticking out of the trash can. Do you have any other abilities or powers? Indeed. I can view the vague shape of the course of a person's fate. Like, predicting the future? Oh, no, nothing quite so extreme. It is more akin to fortune-telling. It may or may not come to pass. Ah, uh, like all good games with, like, people telling the future, it's so vague, it's almost pointless to have it. I get it. That's why you predicted earlier, uh, what you predicted earlier didn't actually happen. Did Mary tell you something? The truth you're seeking can't be found here, or some such. Like a fool, I fell for it. So convinced. I'm such an idiot. You 
just said it, dude. A loud knock sounded at the door. A visitor in the dead of night? Mark bear? I open the door and the visitor strides in. Oh. It's a shady looking young man in a uniform delinquent these days tend to wear. He smirks at me queerly for being superior. <laughs> this place is Cujo Mansion. I got business with some Saiyan chick. No way you're here, huh? He narrows his eyes and staring suspiciously. She's out. I'm Saya. <laughs> Just say, I'm Saya. Turn to Mashita. Oh no, don't hand this off to me. I'm horrible with kids. They never dared put me in charge of Juvie. You guys know her, yeah? Don't care which one of you it is, but would you hear me out? You just said chick. You'd think it would be obvious you'd stare at the doll or something like that. Introductions are quickly done. His name is Sho Nagashima. And as we'd guessed, he's got a mark. He rolls up his right sleeve to show us. And yep, the red mark is burned in. <laughs> An occult freak friend said something. Like it gives you amnesia? For reals? Yeah, that's right. I can't even remember my real name. You're kind of too calm for all that. I bet you're pulling a fast one on me. That grates, but that reaction is normal. But if he's not going to believe the rumors, then he had no reason to come. Why is he here, then? <laughs> rumors are just that. It means you're dying because of some mark. That's comic book craziness. Why are you here, then? Obviously, you believe something of it. Uh, every word of it is true. Exclamation point, question mark. Was that a girl's voice? There is a saying, the truth is stranger than fiction. There are two sides of the same coin. Mary begins explaining. I'm sure she figured it would be the fastest way to convince him by just freaking the, him the fuck out. You got some damn speaker set up somewhere, don't you? I don't take kindly to threats. He peers closely at Mary. Such a mechanism doesn't exist, or er, such a mechanism doesn't exist, Lord Shu. It's because of the colors the same for both anyone that's not the main character. I sometimes can't tell until I actually read it. Dot dot dot. No, 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 no way! He ups pathetically, his eyes wide, and suddenly falls flat on his ass. It seems that despite appearances, this punk is terrified of ghosts and monsters. Ha ha. His tough act is likely a cover. After that, he merely pays full attention. Uh, he meekly pays full attention to Mary as she speaks. I was actually. My voice. My voice for the MC was about to turn into my shonen male protagonist voice for there for a second. He quickly he listens quietly, his face pale, as she tells him about the mark and spirits. By the time she finishes explaining, his face is devoid of color. Now, Lord Shu, have you not already experienced the beginnings of memory loss? Sounds like he already has already. Yeah! I don't think she is used to Mary yet. His face is rather stiff. My memory's always been crap, so I thought I was imagining things. But then it started getting so bad that it was just ridiculous. I've got this occult friend, yeah? I told him about my scar, the mark, and he scared the shit out of me showed me an article that said it was all that scar thing's fault. So now I'm here. Moe mentioned seeing, seeing an article by Saya Kujo in a magazine too. It's all cause of some monster. The hell? This is crazy. Why did, they have to, did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? Not believing it is normal. But if you don't, you'll die. If you don't want to kick the bucket, figure out how you got the mark. Even if your memory's gone bad, you should at least remember that. I'm not that far gone, thanks. I'm positive I got it in the forest by each castle. I know it did. I mean, if it, it does have a rumor about the place being cursed, so... We should probably ask him some more about it. Well, we got more questions. Yeah, I can ask him a few before we end the episode. Forest? The huge forest west of the city. Wait, doesn't everyone know that? Even kids do. But I've lost my memory. <laughs> wah, wah. Maybe that's why I don't know about it. The place is the city's garbage dump. Bunch of nasty rumors about it. There's, there's illegal industrial waste dumping there, like, all the time. 
And it's not just objects, either. They say a black car once dumped a young woman's body there. A new mother strangled her kid there because she couldn't take care of it. There's ton more rumors like that, whether or not any of them are true. I heard some of those, too. Like that lost kid who was eaten by a dog and they only found his torso? Or that murderer hides out there and kills anyone who gets near? Two of them happily exchanged stories. Wow, you're very verbose when it comes to the macabre, aren't you? Well, apparently, apparently, while he hates ghosts, he's more than fine with this kind of stuff. I've hit up the edge of the forest a few times, but never walked in. Not one with half a brain goes there. Watch your ass and ask. Uh, I wish we were at a good save point there. All right. Well, it looks like uh, it looks like we've saved today. Everyone's been saved, but unfortunately, our job is not done. It looks like another person has gotten marked with a curse. So where where do we have to go to in this story? To a forest? To fight a uh, to fight some dogs? A werewolf? Or some other strange creature? Find out next time in the next episode of Deathmark. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.